Here we go again. The prescriber told us to give, told me, the nurse, you're there, whatever, to get, and then I didn't put the name of the medication, but you'll be told in the homework from the book almost always, and probably on your quiz, something like this, to make it more real world. To give 50 milligrams, that's how much you're gonna give of the medication you're supposed to administer to the patient. Something inside you goes, wait a minute, I don't know, I just look crazy and the doctor's an idiot. So, in some form, some way, some place, you find what the manufacturer of the drug says. Whether it's this thing called the PDR Physician's Desk Reference, there's a thing called the uh, Harriet Lane Handbook or somebody like that. It may be on the drug label itself. Some way that it says the safe dose is this. For this drug, 10 milligrams per kilogram per day is a safe dose. I'll say it again. It may say usual, it may say typical, it may say normal. It all means the same thing. It means what you can give your patient. The patient weighs 33 pounds. So I'm doing the same math for a different reason I've been doing for the past two weeks. I take my safe dose of this 10 milligrams. Ooh, red, isn't that pretty? 10 milligrams per kilogram per day. And I'm going to multiply by the patient's weight expressed in kilograms so that the kilograms will cancel out each other and they're going to be gone. Well, let's see. I take my pounds, 33 pounds, and I divide by 2.2 because that's the way you convert pounds to kilograms. And the answer is 15. So the patient weighs 15 kilograms and course and here I'm gonna stress this again over and over you need to keep track of the words by canceling out what you can and seeing what's left over kilograms up on top kilograms down there and cancel out so if I take 15 times 10 I can do that one in my head without a calculator oh he's so smart you're thinking oh uh, that's 150 150 what what's left milligrams per day so in a whole day I can safely give my patient 150 milligrams, but I don't need to know that. I need to know each time I give my patient the meds he or she's supposed to get, how much is safe? Well, how many times a day will I be giving it? Well, let's see, Q8, eight, eight. let me show you a common mistake I see people make. You don't divide that by eight. Q8H means every eight hours. And since there are 24 hours in the day, most of the time, that and uh, 24 is three. It's gonna be given, it'll be given three times a day. So you'll give your patient this med three times a day. So I divide this number by three. You see why? So each dose, what's a safe amount to give? Well, 150, but I don't need this anymore. It's 50, so 50 milligrams. That's per dose, or the term is in divided doses. Each dose, 50 milligrams is a safe amount to give who? Well, a 33 pound patient. Realize, if that were a 66 pound patient, twice that amount would be a safe amount. It's all done by weight. So I've determined that for my patient, 50 milligrams per dose is safe. Well, what did the doctor order? Well, 50 milligrams, exactly right. So the doctor ordered the safe amount. So what do I do now? In other words, oh, first. Is the order safe? Yes, of course it is. Yes. On almost all these homework problems, you'll be asked, is the order safe? Yeah, in this case, yes. Now, what do I do? Well, I give my patient the meds. I now need to know how much I have, what's the dosage strength, and now I'm finally doing a plain old dosage calculation problem. I'm taking my dosage that I'm gonna give, of course, I mean, that's what I'm gonna give, that's the same thing, of course, so I'm gonna give 50 milligrams, I just do a dosage calculation. I have 65 milligrams in every milliliter. And now you've been doing this now for weeks and weeks and weeks. I take my 50 number. I divide, woo, I take my 50 and divide it by 65. The answer is that's 0 0.7692. So 0 0.7692 goes up to 0 0.77. What? Milliliters. So I give my patient 0.77 milliliters and everything's hunky-dory. Let's do a little what if and no. What if, what if the doctor had ordered, you know, 
80 milligrams. Oh no, 80 is nowhere near 50. So is it safe? No. But the thing is, if the doctor's order is not safe, what do you do? Don't even work out the dosage calculation because you're not going to give what he ordered. Again, what, what, you know, if he had ordered 80, if this had been the number 8, it was, but I'm making it up and changing it midstream. If you ordered 80, the safe amount was 50, you don't give it. So don't even work out the dosage calculation because you're not going to give that amount. You don't give what the doctor ordered. You don't give the safe amount. You have to call up the doctor, the NP, the PA, and say, excuse me, uh, ma'am, what did you mean to do here? Because there seems to be a mistake. And you, you know, call the doctor and clarify this. Now the subject also arises. What if the doctor had ordered something like, uh, you know, 55 milligrams? What do you think? Well, that's real close, isn't it? Yeah. So for in here, for right now, for this course, here's the rule. If it's not this number, don't do it. Now you'll learn when you get into the nursing program, which you're all going to do, I'm sure. You're all very smart, I can tell by looking. In the nursing program, you'll learn, well, how close does close have to be before it's, you know, it's still okay or not okay? Well, you'll learn that later. So for right now, if the number the doctor ordered is this, it's safe. If it's not this, don't do it. Okay? Just that's, go by that. Now, the book may do something weird. You go by my rules. Because I'm the boss. I'm the supreme dictator. And I do your quizzes and your tests. And I, hold, I don't hold a red pen, but my computer holds a red pen. So do it right. Now, we'll see if much, we need to do some more. So please Trust me on this. Watch these other videos because they're all different variations of this. You need to see different variations. Please watch them. I know you want to anyway, but go ahead.